for friends and family pricing for everyone. Hi there, thank you for joining us inside the Dutch Miller Kia Sportsport. It wasn't the most pretty win for the West Virginia Mountaineers on Saturday, but they are 1-0 after defeating the Missouri Tigers 26-11. to WVU had three turnovers in the victory, but played solid on defense. West Virginia also had a big boost from the running game. Mountaineer backs rushed for a combined 241 rushing yards. One of the big takeaways from week one was the team's inability to finish out drives. Coach Dana Holgerson's squad kicked four field goals. He knows the team needs to change that going forward. Four of the five were field goals. That's not good. You know, we're sitting here looking at 26 points as, we, as we've talked about a lot. 26 was enough to win this one. 26 might be good enough to win next week or the next week, whatever it is. But there's going to be times where those field goals need to be touchdowns. Now, I give Missouri credit. They're, they're pretty good. They're good up front. We talked about it. We knew it. Uh, we have to do a better job of finishing drives. West Virginia will host Youngstown State for the second game this coming Saturday. Well, the Marshall Thundering Herd got to sit and enjoy the first weekend of college football. The Herd had a bye week for the first full weekend. That open date will be the first and only off week for Marshall this season. They are now gearing up for 12 straight weeks of college football starting this Saturday with Morgan State. The Bears lost over the weekend in their opening game to Holy Cross 51-24. to Members of both the Herd's offense and defense were able to see some film on Morgan State and are ready for a team looking to bounce back. We've already seen they, they play hard, they run to the ball, and they're very, very active with their hands. Uh, they don't give up, they're well coached, like I said, and they're, they're, they're going to be hard, you know, we're going to have to work to establish the run. It's not going to be easy, they're not going to give us anything. If we're going to get something, we're going to have to take it. They're an athletic group, so uh, we just got to be on our P's and Q's back there uh, as far as the play actions and the zone reads and stuff, so we're going to work, we'll work out the kinks this week, and we'll see y'all. That contest will kick off at 6 o'clock in Huntington on Saturday. Last game of the season for the West Virginia Power on Labor Day here. Dario Grazel pitching a great game going into the eighth inning here with a 4-0 lead. And he gets out of a jam there. Bottom of the eighth. Power looking to add some runs. Mitchell Tolman is going to get, get a double to right center field. And that scores Casey Houston. So West Virginia leads 5-0. Then Carlos Munoz is going to add another run. He goes opposite field here, and it's 6-0 West Virginia. The power would then look to close this one out. Top of the ninth, they're having some trouble here, though. Pass ball, scores a run for Greenville, and it's 6-1. Then Jeremy Riviera knocks in two with that hit there and made it 6-4. But ultimately, West Virginia holds on to win 6-4. They finished the season two games above 500 for the second half and three games above 500 overall. And that will do it for the Dutch Miller Kia Sports Report.